Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mathematical Toolbox. Today we're going to be talking about measure theoretic probability. But before we get into that, I want to remind you all that if you like the content, to like and subscribe, uh, leave comments, all that good stuff. It really helps out the channel. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Tranquil Sea of Math. He's been supporting the channel for a while, uh, leaving comments, liking, all that good stuff. That guy's awesome. He also puts out some awesome content on his own channel that you should go check out and subscribe to. He does tutorials, talks about uh, books as well. So go ahead and go over there and give him some love. Uh, I'm sure you'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it as well. So let's get into it. So the book today that I'm going to be showing you all is a very unique book and it is essentially a measure theoretic probability but it's written at a very low or elementary level. So if you are interested in reading this preface, uh, you can go ahead and pause the video and try and read the preface. But the author says that the prerequisites for this book are a previous exposure to probability, and that his goal for this book was to take a reader from a level of intermediate probability to an advanced level. Honestly, I don't think you even need a background probability theory to read this book because of the way that it's written. It's written in a very straightforward and uh, friendly manner with plenty and plenty of examples. The book really is unique on the subject. So let's go through the contents very quickly. So, again, just um, what you would expect from a course on um, probability, really. So, let's get into the first chapter. So, this book really kind of just starts from, from the bottom. And I'm assuming the purpose for that is so that it can, it can be made available and easily readable by a very broad audience. So the authors develop set theory here and they give you just plenty and plenty of examples. So you can see on every page there's definitions, examples, examples, and examples, theorems, and then plenty of examples and proofs and things like that. Um, the, not everything is proved especially here on this first chapter, which is kind of just like a background chapter. But let's get more into this chapter. So, you know, discussion on functions is had here, metric spaces, continuity, all this good stuff. Uh, limits, is, or limits are discussed as well. What I don't like about this book is that the exercises are at the end of the chapter. I don't know if I've talked about it before on this channel, but this is something that really bothers me. I really prefer when the example, uh, the exercises are sprinkled within the chapter itself, because it kind of just slows down your reading and ensures understanding before proceeding to the following section or the following uh, paragraph, things like that. It's uh, my preference. Something that you might have noticed if you paused and read the book the few pages that I did show you, is that a lot of these examples here in the book are a little bit more computational, you know, with actual numbers and things like that. But then in the exercises, you are tasked with showing a certain result or maybe showing a general case. And that might be a little bit off-putting for some but I think if you just go back and just really, really make sure that you understand what you were reading and then go back and solve the problem and, you know, just kind of make sure you under, you're understanding theorems and then the proofs of those theorems and things like that and understanding the examples, I think you should not have that hard of a time reading the book and solving the problems. Additionally, there are answers to selected exercises. I don't know what algorithm the authors used to choose which problems they were going to offer solutions to, um, but at least we've got something and I'll take something rather than nothing. So let's get into the second chapter here. 
So this is where you actually start to get into some probability. And the authors start out with sigma algebras here. And look, just plenty and plenty of examples. I have a little bit of a background on this subject, and this is not really something that I see too often. And I definitely don't ever see it to this extent, examples like this. Again, this for me is, is what makes this book accessible to a wider audience. Uh, because if it were up to the mathematicians, they would just keep on writing books the same old way. And nobody else would be able to, to enjoy all of these great, great subjects and concepts and math. Probability spaces. So I want to go to the back here to the appendix or the appendices. So this is another thing that, that makes the book special. Maybe still you don't want the measure theoretic part of it. You kind of don't need it, but it's here if you want it. Here's where the author, again, discusses all the measure theoretic concepts, discusses the Lebesgue integral, measurability, non-measurability of sets, things like that, all that good stuff. And then again, exercises. And again, if you've seen uh, measure theoretic probability before, you know, this is an extremely, or even just measure theory is essentially what it is. This is an extremely simple exercise. And it kind of just acts as an extension from the examples that you had seen within the main part of the text. Yeah, so the rest of the book just follows suit from the first couple of chapters. Um, one thing that I would like to, to make a note of is... If you saw my video on stochastic calculus by Kalin or Kalin, then that book, that book's second chapter on measure theoretic probability is kind of like a decent overview or summary of this subject as a whole. And a lot of the things in this book will seem extremely familiar to you if you've read that chapter at the very least. Uh, but that book reads in a very different way from this one. That one isn't so plentiful in examples, whereas, again, this one very much is. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you all this book. Uh, this is something that I've been looking for for a long time. I really don't like the discrete probability stuff and a lot of books go on and on and on about prob uh, discrete probability for chapters and chapters and chapters. And to be honest, it is one of the most boring subjects in math for me. So this is something that I've been looking for for myself as, as my book on the subject. Because for me, that's my goal, to have a book on the subject. And... This is the book for me. So, yeah, this is something that has that I've been looking for for a really long time, and I just wanted to show it with you all. Uh, hopefully, you all can find it useful, or hopefully, hopefully, you all will enjoy it as much as I did, or as much as I do. But that'll do it for this one. See ya.